Hello everyone, my name is Ashfaq Ahmed and I work in the field of structure biology and bioinformatics. In our last couple of videos, we have covered how you can dock protein protein using Megadoc software or Megadoc program. In this video, I will show you how can you calculate protein-protein interaction in PyMold for your publication, for your thesis. It means you have already learned how you will perform docking using two proteins or how you will perform protein-protein docking. But the next step is the calculation of the interaction using PyMol or some some other software, but in today's video I will cover uh, those the the topic using the PyMol software. So let's start. In the meanwhile, you will also learn some extra few things and uh, we will discuss it. So let me first open. PyMol. <coughs> Once the PyMol is loaded, uh, I will use two proteins, uh, one from PDB and one from my computer, because uh, I actually want to tell you that the uh, PyMol can work or this method will work on both ways. So first of all, I'm going to change the display setting to white. That doesn't matter, but I like white background. Okay. So first of all, I want to use... Uh, okay. Let's do this way. You will need to open this PyMol wiki and this, uh, this link. I will also drop uh, this link in the description section so the first tip is to open this link and scroll it down you will see the code copy from here till this point copy I will use the same folder normally I'm using one two three right click new text document open and paste now remember this next step you has to click file save as now we are going to save this script in a python your computer already has a python program so don't worry about that click here all files and i will name it let's say script dot py save now you can see this is your new document we have just created and this is the script file and you can see from this extension now this is a python file it's not a text document so you can delete the new documents okay now keep your protein here so i have this protein i will use it in the today's demo also i will use one from the pdb one from so that you learn how protein how pymol can directly import structure from the pdb previously i did not mention this step for you okay click here so which protein i will use directly i will use this protein one for one h four g so how will you open a protein directly in PyMol from PDB? Its name is 1H4G. Okay. If 
file git pdb 1h4g here download now here is our protein if you can see it has two protein chains one is this one one is this one okay on this point we assume that we have docked this protein or you have docked this protein so first of all if you want some cleaning you can for example these red dots are water I want to remove water even if you don't want that doesn't matter I also want to remove if you want to remove these uh, two ligands one is here one is here so you can remove if also if you want to remove these three stuffs these trees I don't know what they are probably some compound okay so remove atom that's it or if you don't want to clean it also okay now the second step I to make it uh, to make you better understand I will change I will color it by chain so you can see two different colors okay now we want to calculate the interface or the interaction area between these two proteins or I would say the interaction residues between those these two proteins so what have we done we have already downloaded some script and which is present in this one two three uh, directory so you need to click here and copy this path I did copy now come here to pymol and write cd and then paste that path now your pymol is in the same directory what next we will do we will run that script it doesn't matter which protein do you have you have to run that script that script first so how you will run you will run this way run its name its script is just you can see the pymol can read it script.py enter now you did not see any error here it means the script has been run successfully now what is the name of our protein one h4 g so you can write interface residue comma 1 h4 g it has generated uh, an error that is syntax error it means I made some mistake so what mistake I made let me show you this is residues interface residues and remove this comma okay now click again it says you have made some mistake so this time the mistake I made was this one do not capitalize the first I okay remember you have to write this interface residues space the name of your protein which is this one now up to this point we have you can see some dots here and more importantly you can also see a new tab here that says interface okay now you can play with it for example I say show sticks you can see you can also play more with it just like uh, find context between them it will indicate the interaction you can also play more let's say show spears now the spears are too big if you want them to a bit smaller than type set 
sphere underscore scale we did this already before in some other videos I will choose let's say 0.2 so 0.2 are too smaller make it a bit big, bigger let's say 0.4 still too smaller let's say 0.6 I think this is okay now these are your uh, in sphere representation those interacting residues now if you want them to have some surface so just okay if you click here show surface for in in front of the protein name it will create surface for the whole protein but we are interested to create surface here for the interface so we will click here the s button in front of the interface and we will say surface now you can see a surface now I want this surface to be a bit transparent so we have also covered uh, this before set transparency comma uh, let's say 0 0.6 you can see there is a still there is a surface but that is transparent so it is up to you 0 0.6 uh, I already covered the 0 0.6 means 60% transparency that's it uh, then you can save it and I already covered in uh, another video how you can save this uh, just display set it to higher quality or background color if you want to check it or you can change the colors for this region separately or for the protein also you can change the, the, the styles of uh, this cartoon helices like this set cartoon all length 0 0.8 I would say okay so you can see that became too bigger you can say uh, just oh I said 0 0.8 okay now you can also tweak the width of these things just replace the length for a bit okay uh, if you are interested how to make great figures then there is another video also you can watch that uh, I think its name is how to create uh, pie mold figures or how to use Primal for figures generations okay now I want to use my own protein so open here I have a protein for i 5 s this is my protein let me first color it based on chain so you can see two colors it means it has two chains now I want to know where these two proteins are interacting and you suppose I have docked this in my previous videos so or you have docked this protein then the first step is to run that script run script.py now the second step is to write interface residues but this time you will not uh, you you will name it 4i5s or the name of your protein 4i5s you can see Wait. okay you can see here let's say this time i'm using different colors i'm not using balls so i will say color uh, magenta or violet So these different colors, the, uh, these are the regions where these two proteins are interacting with another chain. Okay, so I hope you have learned how quickly you can use Pymol 
for analysis and also for creating figures for your publications. If you like my work, please subscribe this channel and if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I'm trying my best to answer you within 24 hours so far. Uh, so I will continue the same fashion. So all the best. Stay happy. Bye-bye.